Have you ever seen a puppy chase his tail, spinning in never-ending circles? You just know that silly dog is exhausting all his time and energy without any progress to show. In a network, messages can get stuck in a loop too. By default, switches forward broadcast messages out every port besides the port that sent the message. This is helpful to get the message to the right place, but it can also cause problems if they are continuously circling around the network. If a message keeps looping around, router resources are flooded in what is called a broadcast storm. Luckily, there's a simple way to prevent these loops. You set up Spanning Tree Protocol. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure Spanning Tree Protocol, STP, on a Cisco Business 350 switch through the command line interface. To get started, log into the Switch console via the PuTTY application and enter the username and password. The default for both is Cisco in all lowercase letters. This gets you inside the privilege exec mode. Once inside, type configure terminal to get into the global configuration mode of the switch. Now, to enable STP, enter spanning tree followed by the command mode to select which STP protocol to run. As you can see, there are five different mode options available. STP, RSTP, which is the default mode, MST, PVST, and Rapid PVST. For this example, I'll use STP. Next, the spanning tree bridge forward time. This is the amount of time a port remains in the listening and learning states before entering the forwarding state. The range is 4 to 30 seconds, and the default value is 15 seconds. For this example, I'm going to enter spanning tree forward time 16. When configuring the forward time, the following relationship should be maintained. 2 into forward time minus 1 should be greater than or equal to max age. Moving along. The spanning tree max age command can be used to configure STP maximum age. This determines how often broadcast hello messages are sent out. The range is 6 to 40, and the default maximum age is 20 seconds. Here, 16 specifies the spanning tree bridge maximum age in seconds. When configuring the maximum age, keep in mind 2 into forward time minus 1 should be greater than or equal to max age. The max age is greater than or equal to 2 into hello time plus 1. Now the root bridge can be configured. The range is 0 to 61,440 and the default bridge priority is 32,768. In this example, I'll type spanning tree priority 12,288, where 12,288 specifies the bridge priority. The priority value must be a multiple of 4,096. The switch with the lowest priority is the root of the spanning tree. When more than one switch has the lowest priority, the switch with the lowest MAC address is selected as the root. To set the default path cost method, just type the spanning tree path cost method command. Looking at the options, there are two cost methods, long and short. For this example, I'm going to select long, which is also the default setting. Okay, that completed successfully. So you should be set on the basics. From here, you have some options for additional STP commands. These commands would be set and executed on specific ports. By default, spanning tree is enabled on all ports. So, to disable spanning tree on a specific port, enter interface FI101, where 1 slash 0 slash 1 indicates the specific port number followed by the command spanning tree disable. That's it, the interface is disabled. To move on, simply type exit to move to another interface. To configure the spanning tree path cost for a port, log into the interface. The range is 1 to 200 million. 
For this example, I'll type spanning tree cost 35,000. 35,000 specifies the port path cost. It's important to note that the default path cost is determined by the port speed and path cost method. In this interface, you need to configure port priority. The range is zero to 240, and the default port priority is 128. For this one, use 96 by entering spanning tree port priority 96. Sometimes you may want to enable port fast mode for an interface so that it is put into a forwarding state upon link up without waiting for the standard forward time delay. To do this, enter interface FI104, then type the spanning tree port fast command. Alternatively, you can use the spanning tree port fast auto command to delay the port fast mode for three seconds. Typing spanning tree BPDU defines bridge protocol data unit or BPDU handling when the spanning tree is disabled globally or on a single interface. As you can see, there are two modes, flooding and filtering. On this interface, I'll use flooding, which is the default setting. The filtering and flooding modes are relevant when the spanning tree is disabled globally or on a single interface. To define BPDU handling when the spanning tree is disabled on a single interface, go ahead and enter the interface followed by spanning tree BPDU flooding. If you want to shut down all interfaces if a loopback BPDU is received on them, simply type spanning tree loopback guard. Bravo! Now you have a pack of commands you can use to configure STP on your CBS switch using the CLI. It can make all the difference in an efficient network because unlike an energetic puppy, you don't want your network to tire out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.